Yeah, that's a good question, isn't it? Are you quantifying risk correctly? You've likely heard frequency plus severity plus probability equals risk, or frequency times consequence times probability equals risk, or frequency plus exposure plus severity equals risk, or just frequency plus severity equals risk. Well, which is it? The debate goes on and on. In fact, it even extends to what probability is. You've likely heard it's highly unlikely, unlikely, very likely, likely, etc., or even maybe a ratio of some sort like one in a million, one in a thousand, one in a hundred, or 50-50, or some other method of quantifying probability. Are you done? I know, enough. So, the question always gets asked, which one is right? Well, guess what? All of them, yep, all of them. Every single one of them is right. And you know what? The debate continues on and on, but really and truthfully, there's only four things that you need to consider when you're quantifying risk. Number one, and it's likely why you're here, is are you quantifying risk? Are you giving it some sort of numerical value so that you understand it and understand uh, the level of consequence, the level of severity, or what you have to deal with first off? So yes, that's a best practice approach quantify risk. Number two is, are you applying it evenly across the board? And you know what? I hear this all the time. People say, well, we're just going to quantify risk for the real high risk things. Really? How do you know it's high risk unless you're quantifying it? Apply it evenly across the board. It doesn't matter what position. It doesn't matter what tasks that person or the position is performing. Apply it evenly across the board and consistently. Now, the third thing is you need to use that process or the quantification as part of your decision-making process with the other elements of your health and safety management system. That's incredibly complicated. I know, got complicated, right? But if you think about it, take work, work site inspections, for instance. If you were to apply that risk quantification process, then you would easily be able to verify what needs to be fixed right away. What can wait 24 hours? What can wait a week? What can wait 30 days? Or whatever your methodology is. But you can give it some object objectivity. Hmm tripped over my own tongue there, some objectivity versus subjectivity, okay? So that's why you want to quantify risk. The other thing, if you think about it, think about incident investigation and when you're delivering your report and you have corrective actions, you may have numerous corrective actions. It's pretty easy to put them in order of priority if you can give each one a numerical value according to their risk. So it doesn't take rocket science to figure it out. Now, the fourth thing, and likely, well, possibly the most important, is make sure everybody understands the process and they're aware of the process and they've been trained. Because if you don't accurately describe something and prescribe it, then people will act on their own judgment. And that's judgment they may bring from previous experiences in other organizations, or they may guess at it. So if you were to have a directed methodology and how you quantify risk and make sure everybody's aware of it, it becomes a lot easier. So just put it down in those four things. Number one, quantify risk. Give it a numerical value. Number two, apply it evenly and consistently across the board. Number three is use it as part of your decision-making process. And finally, number four is make sure everybody is aware of the process. Now, I know it may seem like it's a little difficult to understand, oh, okay, well, how do I quantify this risk and how do I apply it and everything. What you need to do is have a look at this video up here and it explains it a lot more. It's about applying your risk matrix and what you do and putting it into a risk matrix or heat map. Have a look at that video, but until we see each other again, and I really, really hope we do, don't just think about safety, don't just talk about safety, but be an influencer, be a leader and provoke safety wherever you are, okay? Take care, bye for now.